Hey everyone, last year the Remain campaign came up with some ludicrously over-exaggerated claims about what Brexit would mean. You know, Three million jobs lost, huge tax rises, as well as the Islington branch of Waitrose having to replace all their artisan polenta dip with lard or whatever it is that Nick Clegg claims poor people eat. However, now that Brexit is happening, they've decided to double down on those stories and the latest claim is that we've got a full-scale military war with Spain coming our way. I imagine if it was to happen, then thanks to the defence budget cuts, it may well end up being settled by a drunken brawl outside a nightclub in the Balearic Islands. Uh, don't know what's worse really, a shot from an assault rifle or a Club 18 30 quadruple shot of cheapers or drunk out of the back of a shoe. Now, the whole thing's utterly bonkers though. Even General Franco didn't try invading Gibraltar and he kind of had a thing for starting wars in Spain. Um, talking about fascists though, this week I saw Ken Livingston come out of his house again and again and again to talk about Hitler and he was subsequently suspended for calling the Labour Party into disrepute. Um, the historical point he's claiming is at best dubious but the, I think the thing to take away is really that you can now be suspended or expelled from the Labour Party party if you say things that make the party look unprofessional or disreputable, which I suppose would at least explain why the leadership have kept their mouth shut when they've been asked about policy or what they think about Brexit. Um, anyway, for now, if we do get drafted into the war with Spain, I'll see you on the beach. Mine's a pint of San Miguel. Um, otherwise, see you next week. If you like these clips, subscribe. Bye.